So let us solve the given equations by using matrix inversion method. So let us solve. So before going to solve this uh, equ these equations, first let us write uh, the matrix equation. So now, so this can be written like this: three, four, five, two, minus one, eight, five, minus two, seven, multiplied by variables are x, y, z. So x, y, z matrix equals to constant matrix that is 18, 13, 20. So now it is in the form of A x is equal to D. Now we need to find out the x, y, z values that is nothing but x matrix. So, this x matrix can be obtained using A inverse D, say equation 1. Now, to find first A inverse, to find out inverse of any square matrix, first we need to find out its determinant. So, now that means here A that is called coefficient matrix. 3, 4, 5, 2 minus 1, 8, 5 minus 2, 7. So, first let us find out uh, its determinant, whether these simultaneous equations can be solved, can be solved using matrix inversion method or not. So, that means first let us find out debt A. So, debt A equals to determinant of this 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 2 minus 1, 8, 5 minus 2, 7. This equals to 3 multiplied by its cofactor. Here, sin is minus 4 multiplied by its cofactor plus 5 multiplied by its cofactor. So, now deleting this row, this column, determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix minus 7 plus 60. Deleting this row and this column, determinant of 2, 8, 5, 7 that is 14 minus 40 and plus 5 times deleting this row, this column, determinant of this matrix minus 4 plus 5, you can check it clearly. 3 multiplied by 9 minus 4 times 36, sorry let us see this is 6 you get and next 2, 26, this is 26 minus 26 and plus 5 times 1. This is 27 plus 26 4 here. So, 24, this is 4 to 8, 104 plus 5. So, this is 32 plus 104, that is 136 does not equal to 0. Therefore, A inverse exists. That means, we can find out inverse of the matrix A. So, to find out A inverse, first we, let us write the cofactors of all the elements of A, we have to write it. So, cofactors of A. So, cofactor matrix, cofactor of A is as follows. So, before going to write cofactor of A, we have to remember the sign scheme that is here you remember the sign scheme plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus this scheme let us find remember in our mind. So, while writing the cofactor of A. 
सो को फैक्टर ऑफ ये दैट मीन्स को फैक्टर मैट्रिक्स को फैक्टर मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ए इक्वल्स टू वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस सो फर्स्ट प्लस साइन को फैक्टर ऑफ दिस थ्री वी हैव टू राइट सो डिलेटिंग दिस रो दिस कॉलम determinant of this matrix that we can write to minus 7 so that means plus of minus 7 and plus 16 let us write cofactor of 4 that is minus of deleting this row this column 14 minus 40 next here plus sign that is plus of Deleting this row, this column minus four plus five. Now let us write the cofactor of two. Just check the sign here. Minus sign we have to write before that one. So minus of deleting this row and this column twenty eight plus ten. Twenty eight plus ten. So twenty eight plus ten. Next here we get the plus sign. So cofactor of one is deleting this row, this column three five five seven, twenty one minus twenty five, twenty one minus twenty five. This one is minus sign. Deleting this row, this column minus six, minus twenty. Now cofactor of five. This is plus. Deleting this row, this column. Thirty-two plus five. Here minus sign. Co-factor of this minus two. Deleting this row, this column. Twenty-four minus ten. Twenty-four minus ten. And plus sign here. Co-factor of this element. Deleting this row, this column. Minus three minus eight. Now let us write. This value. Let us do the simplification. Now this equals to nine forty minus fourteen is minus twenty six minus of minus is plus twenty six. Next one. This is minus thirty-eight. Next mi minus four plus into minus four is minus four. Minus twenty-six into minus plus twenty-six. This is thirty-seven. Correct. Fourteen minus times fourteen is minus fourteen. Okay. Minus eleven multiplied by plus sign minus eleven. This is cofactor of a. Now we need to find out at g a. At g a is equal to cofactor matrix of a transpose. We have to write. So that means transpose of this matrix. This equals to nine twenty six one. The row becomes column. Minus thirty-eight minus four twenty-six, thirty-seven minus fourteen and minus eleven. Now we know the adjoint of E and det E. So det E is one thirty-six. Now let us find out A inverse. A inverse equals to one by at G A. Sorry, one by det A into adjoint of A. So that means one by one thirty six of adjoint A is nine minus thirty eight thirty seven twenty six. 
माइनस फोर माइनस फोर्टीन वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड माइनस लेवन दिस इज ए इनवर्स नाउ ए इनवर्स हैज बीन एवेलुएटेड हेयर सो नाउ फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन दैट इंप्लाइज एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए इनवर्स इन टू डी so that means here a inverse x is equal to 1 by 1 36 minus 38 37 26 4 14 1 26 1 26 11 multiplied by the d that is constant matrix 18 13 20 18 13 20 we have to multiply these two matrices this is 3 by 3 this is 3 by 1 we get 3 by 1 itself only r1 into c1 r2 into c1 r3 into c1 we have to write so 1 by 136 times 9 into 18 minus 38 into 13 Plus thirty-seven into twenty. Twenty-six into eighteen. Minus four into thirteen. Minus fourteen into twenty. Now one into eighteen. Plus twenty-six into thirteen. Minus eleven into twenty. So let it be simplified now. This is equal to one by one thirty six times. Now eighteen into nine, that is eighteen into nine seventy two one sixty two one sixty two. Minus thirty-eight into thirteen. Thirty-eight into thirteen. Twenty-four. Nine eleven. Thirty-eight. Four nine four. Four ninety-four. Minus four ninety-four. Uh, this is plus seven forty. Next twenty six into eighteen. Twenty six into eighteen. Forty eight. Two not eight into twenty six. Eight six four four sixty eight. This is four sixty eight. So four sixty eight minus thirteen four ja fifty two. Am I correct? Fourteen into twenty minus two eighty. One into eighteen, eighteen. Now twenty six into thirteen is three thirty eight. And minus eleven into twenty minus two twenty. So now let us simplify this one. Seven forty plus one sixty two. Nine not two. Nine not two. Minus four ninety four. So this is twelve. This is nine. This will be eight. Eight zero four four not eight. So now this we can write one by one thirty six multiplied by here four not eight. So now let us simplify this one now. Two eighty plus fifty two. Two three 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 thirty two. But it is negative. It is negative. We get negative value. Now four sixty eight minus three thirty two. 
so 6 3 1 136 so now final one let us simplify now that is 338 sorry 3 is exactly correct 338 plus 18 16 5 356 356 minus 220. So now this is 6, 3, 1, 136. So this is the simplification. So now this x equals to we can write 408 by 136. 136 by 136, 136 by 136. So, this equals to 136 1 ja, 136 3 ja, 136 1 ja, 136 1 ja. So, we get 3 1 1 1. But x is what? x y z equal to 3, 1, 1. Since these two matrices are equal, the corresponding elements must be same. So, therefore, hence x is equal to 3, y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 1. 